Good afternoon, everybody. Today in this session, I'm going to talk about wetting and spreading of droplets over thin power substrate. But first of all, I would like to have a reminder here. As we found out in the previous session, if we deposit a droplet on a, a smooth solid substrate, which is not porous, we have three different types of behavior. Imagine a water droplet on a teflon substrate. It's a non wetting behavior and the contact angle is always higher than 90 degrees. Water droplet on a glass or mica is a partial wetting behavior and the contact angle is in between 0 and 90 degrees. Water droplet on a silicon vapor is a complete wetting behavior and in this case we have a dynamic contact angle which decreases over the time and at the end of the process all the droplet spreads out completely over the solid substrate. Now the question here is that how does a droplet spread on a porous substrate? In the case of drop spreading on a porous substrate, we have also three different types of behavior. The first uh, case is the non-wetting behavior. In this case, if we deposit a droplet, the contact angle is always higher than 90 degrees, the drop stays on top of the porous layer and there is no penetration inside the porous substrate. The second behavior is a partial wetting case. In this case, if we deposit the droplet over the porous layer and if we monitor the contact angle and the droplet base rate is over the process, we will observe this behavior. Initially, the value of contact angle is here and the droplet base rate is this here. Over the time, the drop is spread over the porous substrate and the contact angle decreases and the droplet base radius increases. The value of contact angle decreases until the time when it reaches the advancing contact angle. So a stage, uh, the first stage here is the fast spreading of the droplet over the porous uh, substrate. After this stage, the contact angle decreases but the droplet base radius remains uh, fixed at its uh, maximum value and the edge of the droplet is pinned over the porous substrate. The contact angle decreases more because of the uh, loss of volume which is caused by penetration inside the porous layer and it continues until the time when it, reach the, uh, when it drops the receding contact angle. So during the second stage, the droplet base radius remains fixed at its maximum value. After this stage, the droplet uh, shrinks because of the penetration inside the porous substrate, but the contact angle remains uh, uh, fixed. The drop shrinks more because of the penetration inside the porous substrate, and uh, it continues until the time when all the droplet is sucked uh, completely uh, by porous substrate. So, the third stage here is a shrinkage of the droplet base radius. So, as you can see here, uh, in a partial wetting behavior, we have three different stages a fast spreading of the droplet, a fixed contact line, and a shrinkage of the droplet base radius. Okay, let's go to the Complete wetting behavior. In a complete wetting behavior, if we deposit the droplet over thin porous substrate, <coughs> and if, again, if we monitor the contact angle and the droplet base radius, initially the drop is spread over the porous layer, the contact angle decreases and the droplet base radius increases. It increases until the time when it reaches the maximum value. So the first stage here is again a fast spreading of the droplet over the porous layer. After this stage, the contact angle decreases to its uh, final value, but the droplet base radius decreases because of the penetration inside the porous layer. This stage continues uh, until the time uh, when all the droplet is sucked by porous substrate. So the second stage here, is a shrinkage of the droplet base radius. So in overall, we can see here that uh, in a complete wetting uh, behavior, we have only two stages. A fast spreading of the droplet, which is followed by the shrinkage of the droplet base radius. In this case, we don't have stages of contact angle. So the stage of uh, partial wetting is absent here in, a, in the case of complete wetting uh, behavior. 
Okay, uh, any question, any comment?